Okay, well, as plywood goes, it was plenty, plenty uncooperative. The only evidence I can see of the cavity is a little bit down in there, but who knows? Something hollow, but I'm guessing it's because we have the steps down in the film. It's probably just a little recessed area there. Hey, my water. Come back. Oh, I'm sure you guys know what that is right there. I'm gonna walk around and take a peek at it. Okay. So what we have here is the base of the steps. Everybody went up the wooden steps when it went up from here. Always around this rock step. It's kind of an interesting feature that doesn't really match the rest of the foundation. It's right here where Rick would have met his eye-popping demise just after Chris steps out onto where the deck would have been here from the other doorway. Poor Rick, he just couldn't get his foot high enough in the air or kick anything solid to get her attention. Kick a little higher next time, Rick. So we'd be looking straight on down the deck around this funky stick structure. Perhaps the Blair Witch has been here. But we'd be looking straight on down here past on the other side of those uh, leaves and trees and everything. Of course, the dock, the left of it. Recognize the little feature here, which is still visible from the film. Big step. No steps to walk into. Still wondering what this hole is all about. It's obviously not part of any kind of cellar structure. So the foundation is solid here, so there was no passing through underneath the house. Got another hole there, so I guess he just could be run-of-the-mill sinkholes. Because here yonder is another. And a great fireplace. I heard tell that the house isn't here because, well, a set visitor such as like myself, many, not too long ago, I think it's in the last 10 years or so, 2011, I think, visited here and decided to light a fire, which, you know, of course there's embers and charred wood, but apparently managed to burn the whole place down. So thanks a lot for that guy. Hey, uh, I hope the law came down on you swiftly and harshly ruining a piece of film history which if I have time today I'll be visiting another site that from the same film also lost a fire which is not uh, well it's all too common for Friday the 13th films Friday the 13th films seem to anger the fire gods Yeah, this would be the fireplace where the uh, 3D poker came from. Where Shelly liked to stand in front of, impressing Vera with his apple tossing skills. You know, I was a young boy watching Friday the 13th Part 3 for the first time, which was so, oh, for me, probably in the neighborhood of. 1990, 91 or so. I never thought that almost 30 years later I'd be standing on the site, which is kind of awestruck, which is kind of weird. You know, you're standing here, you're making this video, you're shooting this footage, and part of you just wants to like put it down. Like, nope, nope, just look around, explore the mysteries this nail 
Hello, Nail. Step on me. Yeah, we've got a fire ravaged tree from that that took down the house. Now, right on over here, like I see a post or something holding up the branch of that tree, but right over back in that corner, where it would have been our rocking and rolling outhouse. And the film below, beneath that group of trees, been a little picnic area for Higgins Haven. Picnic benches and some chairs and such that were there in the film. The barn has seen its modifications over the years. The addition of windows in the front, the removal of the fence around it. We're gonna head over there shortly and take a look. See what's what.